Hey everyone, welcome to Maritime Foam. I'm excited because today we are talking about Mega XL. Uh, this is a brand new ammo type. It seems like the only reviews I do are brand new ammo types. But this one, uh, unlike Hyper, which I'm pretty lukewarm on, I'm really excited about this one. These gigantic darts, uh, I'm showing you the wrong side here. These gigantic darts are going to be such a good time for making up special games that use them. Uh, you know, definitely not a performance ammo type, uh, but just is going to be a ton of fun. I think it's really cool. Let's get this out of the box, look at it, fire it. I'll show some clips that I took of uh, the girls uh, trying it out and playing with this the other day out in a field in a playground and get their impressions too. This is the Boom Dozer. All right, here's Grace. She's gonna try the Boom Dozer. A little hard to prime all the way back. There you go. Ah! Hi, so basically I am out in the outer room and I'm trying to shoot my stepsister. She's moving around. I'm not allowed in the black. So here it goes. Six Ready? shots to get her. shoot my dad in the obstacle course. She has six dots. She got her and that's the lightning blast. The boom dozer. What do you think of the boom dozer? Epic. Gracie, what did you think of the boom dozer? Epic. Epic as well. And what do you think of these crazy super mega XL dirt? Mega epic awesome. <laughs> they are pretty cool. This thing, this is kind of to me what Nerf is all about. It makes me smile when you put this in someone's hands. Uh, they are instantly amused. Uh, it's fun to fire. Uh, it is really, really, really cool. <laughs> it's like firing a missile that actually, you know, flies as well as a Mega Dart, which is really neat. Uh, Range-wise, I haven't really done, but when I was shooting it next to a Cyclone Shock, it was shooting about the same, really. So really, really fun. I'm gonna pull one of these darts out for you to see. You know, compared to a normal size dart, these are massive. Uh, let me grab a Mega Dart. Yeah, even, a mega dart pales in comparison to these mega XL. Uh, some people are a little woo. Some people are a little bit grumpy. Uh, that's like, oh, Hasbro is just doing another type of ammo, just trying to get people to buy more stuff. Well, I mean, of course they are. They are a business. But at least this ammo, unlike Ultra or Hyper, which is kind of a slight variation on the same. This is something, and maybe this is more for game makers. I'm planning on having some people with swords. Uh, I want them going around with these out in front of them. Like they're the evil T-1000, they are Terminators. They don't have guns, they only, oops. They don't have blasters, they only have these. Our hero will have a regular blaster and if he shoots a Terminator, the Terminator will have to stop for a second, it'll slow him down, but will not destroy him. And they'll have to find this on the battlefield if they want to take down a Terminator. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> So I think there's just so much opportunity to do cool stuff with uh, different ammo types and things like that. The last party I ran had a ton of fun with, uh, with rockets, uh, using those to destroy bases, using them for objectives. So I really think there is a lot of value in new ammo types if they're actually different and they bring something else to it. Uh, a little bit more about this blaster, the Boomdozer. It is really cool looking. All of these graphics are actually different 
molded pieces of plastic coming right out through the side of it. Uh, the action is really good. This is really easy for kids to use as well. Uh, even though it's, you know, it's pretty big, it's a little heavy, but uh, it has a, it has pretty decent ergonomics. It'll take a stock, which is pretty cool. A stock attachment. One second. Let's add this modulus missile blaster and stock to the boom dozer. That is so cool. All right. So now we have a boom dozer that also has the option of firing a missile. So this is definitely a heavy gunner dream now. Let's see here. And if we really get in trouble, there goes the missile too. Awesome. I'm, I'm a, I was really impressed with this one after kind of a, a few Nerf branded things that I've gotten lately and being kind of underwhelmed. I thought this is what Nerf is. It's stuff that you give to people and they go, whoa, what is this silly, ridiculous thing? Um, so I can't wait for more Mega XL blasters. Can't wait until they do a flywheel one, maybe, or figure out some way uh, for some way to do an automatic. One of these would be cool, too. Definitely recommend this one. Uh, you know, it's not a performance blaster, but if you can have some special rules where this is taking multiple lives out of somebody or you have a special uh, character or juggernaut on the field and you can work this in, super, super cool. Tensions are high. Only two hits needed with that thing. Oh! So positive, positive feedback from me. Uh, if you have any questions about it, let me know. This is not the most thorough review. I would love to take it outside and shoot at Bessie, but it is very late at night. I generally do these late at night. Maybe I'll shoot at Bessie tomorrow and edit it into this clip. We'll see. Okay, so with any big chonky blaster like this, you know you're gonna take a bit of a performance hit. You're kind of lobbing uh, big darts. That's that's fine, that's kind of what it's all about. But let's see how accurately I can get these Mega XL darts to Bessie. So firing fairly straight. Bottom of the shed, I'm gonna angle up. Angle a bit more. There's Bessie, and you can kind of see the angle there. For consistency, yeah, I mean, a little, a little all over, but these are a different kind of thing. If you actually manage to hit something, you're getting a big reward. So to compare against the previous uh, <laughs> King of Mega, the Cyclone Shock, so firing pretty straight. Oop. Angle a bit. Oop, that's gone. Getting some misfires on this one. Oh, I'm not rotating. Might have to take this one apart. But anyway, you're still getting the point, but and right on to Bessie. So definitely getting more uh, more out of the Mega, but I mean, those darts are such a different size. I feel like I said earlier that when I fired outside the other day, I was getting similar range, definitely more range out of the Mega, uh, not surprising, but quite a size difference in these two darts. Hey, what do you know? I did wait and do some shots at Bessie the next day. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed seeing what kind of performance that this had. Um, and I hope if you do get one of these, you enjoy it as much as me. And if you don't, well, too bad. Bye. <laughs>